Hello everybody, we're back here with some more 2K. So I had to turn the music off because I don't want to deal with another copyright claim. So, alright, let's go skip to the suns here. Uh oh, what's going on? Man, it sucks I have to turn the music off. It's freaking awful. I hate it. Uh, let's adjust rotation. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Isaiah Thomas, yes, Marcus Thornton, let's lower his minutes down, really, not doing nothing anyways for my team, Kawhi, how do you say, Kawhi Leonard, he's definitely going to be getting a lot, Tim Duncan, yes, Gilchrist, yes, Anderson, Chalmers, we'll give him a little bit. All right, it's good. All right, good stuff. All right, good. T Rock, I'm sure you know about this already, right, but just wanted to remind you we we have a game coming up against Kevin Love, who's one of the league's absolute best power forwards. You should take a look at the game plan for the Pelicans to make sure we handle him correctly. Wow, I can't believe my team's actually eight and three. I lost two of those. Mother fricker. God dang it. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh yeah, I reached level four, baby. Oh yes. Do that. Your team's winning streak now sits at five. Do you think it'll last? Sure. Well, we're facing the Pelicans. <laughs> oh, I I lost some press. <laughs> oh boy, we got seventy six us. Hey, t -Rock, I have a trade offer for you that I think you might be interested in. Isaiah Thomas for Marcus Smart. Uh, I'll pass on that one for now. I hope say get a lot of salary out of it. But Isaiah Thomas is better, looks like. I have him for longer years. and Yeah. I'm going to pass on that. All right. Now what? Hey, t -Rock, I just wanted to remind you that if you wanted to make any changes to our staff, you can open up the staff menu where you can hire new staff members, extend their contracts, initiate conversations, or even give them a swift kick to the curb. I'm sure, we'll look at it. Tyler Smith. Brian Shaw. Okay, we got Alex all right, I don't think we have to make any. All right. Can I get to the game now? Or Mario Chalmers has... Oh, mother freaker, come on. God dang it. Ugh. All right. Well. What do we got? Oh, boy. Well. Yeah, we'll just... God dang it. It freaking sucks. Finally, we're to the game. God dang. Alright, let's do this. Oh, and now, God. presented by Sprite, the 2K pregame show. Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to 2K Sports. You're watching the NBA, and you've got Ernie Johnson, and you've right, got Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight's broadcast will feature the Denver Nuggets KB2. as they go God up against the Suns in Phoenix. In Taking a look at the Suns, they've had a tough time over the last few weeks. Three and seven in their last ten games. We'll see if they can make amends tonight. 
You talk about a star on the rise, Kawhi Leonard out oh, of San yeah. Diego State. Yes, as much as he brings to the table offensively, Ernie, it's his defense that truly sets him apart. Long arms, huge hands, and great fundamentals. He can guard four positions. That's why I called him Sugar K. Leonard, because his game is sweet. One of the best nicknames you've ever come up with. What do you call oh, yes. Kevin Harlan? <laughs> he's kind of a... Awesome. But he's also got a K, a Kevin Harlan. So he could also be Sugar, like Sugar K. K. Sugar K. Harlan. Yeah, mm. I don't like it as well. Me either. Oh, boy. Shaq All right, look at this. It's time to meet the starting lineup for your Phoenix Sun. Oh, oh. At the small here. forward position, six, six feet, feet seven inches, number 23, Draymond Green. At six foot zero inches, number 17, Patty Mills. At the other forward position, standing six foot 11, number 10, Greg Monroe. The other guard position, standing six foot five, number three, Bradley Beal. All right. The big man, six feet ten inches, number zero, Andre. Okay, let's do it. It's an all Western Conference matchup in the view too. Camera. Is this it? Two K. Guess that's good. Is that? <laughs> yes. All right. Today's game is the Nuggets coming Here we to town go. for this one. It's Wednesday Night Basketball it. live on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan in the booth, as right. always, with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Thank you. They'll play this one here in Phoenix before the Suns head back out on the road. They've hit a rough spot here early, but still have plenty of time in their season ah, to find their way out. I mean, you know, during the course of a long season, every team hits what I call a speed bump on occasion. This team is in that in that stretch right now, but I wouldn't discount them. They've still got a chance to be really no. good. This could very well just be a bump. Yeah, but it could be a pretty big bump no, because I mean they have not looked very good lately, and not at all like what we'd expect them to. So. Uh, I mean, I think they'll turn it around. I think you're probably right, but you never know. It's not a sure thing. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Oh, oh yeah. So on the floor Kawhi. for dinner, Kawhi Leonard is out there with Duncan. Then it's Thornton. Then it's Thomas. And it's right. right and at the pivot spot, manning the middle. You know, Denver oh, had a few oh, memorable oh. wins against some of the best teams in the West last year. But no. At the end of the Wide day, open. Overwhelmed by the conference oh, for the third time. Phoenix on defense. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. And no matter what they try to do in that loss, Kevin, it just didn't work out for uh. them. Yeah, to me, it seemed like they kind of gave into it. Like you said, they didn't show too much fight back when it got to double digits. And oh, yeah. That's concerning. Good job That's creating right an by. easy bucket there. Let's go on, yes. And so just over a minute and a half Yo. played. Mills dishes to Monroe. Oh, he's open. Dirt. Deal against Dirt. right now. No. Fades and shoots. From oh, the I can get points on the tip in. Now, sometimes offensive rebounds are lucky, but he anticipates and gets to the right spot before the shot goes up. Thomas passes to Leonard. Here we 
go. Outside for Thomas. Six to shoot. Duncan down low. Yes. Working on Drummond. And that one's good, Duncan. Hey. They are Tenet. really doing Drops a nice job in. establishing yeah. a presence inside early. It's going to open right. things up for them on the perimeter going yeah. forward, Clark. And Beal kicks to Monroe. Out left to the wing. Green no. with the screen. No. Shots uh. good by Mills. Good oh, over the and he splashes home the three. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Now it's ended down to Doris Burke, who was able to talk to Jeff Hornacek. He talked about the challenge of game planning for Tim Duncan. He said Timmy's one of the best to ever do it on the low block. No, we've just got to play the percentages. Yeah, to his left and force him to make tough oh, yeah, yeah, baby. shots. This Guys, foul shot even though Duncan watching. isn't Good. a deadly free throw shooter, he I knows how not to draw contact. God dang it. They want to avoid ah. getting baited no. into silly fouls. No. Back to you. Oh. And thanks for that wow. story, boys. Andre yeah, Drummer, yeah, yeah. kind yeah, of a late himself. bloomer when it came to basketball, really. Was pretty uncoordinated as a kid. He struggled to make laps no! early on. It wasn't until around ah! the age of 14 that he really started to show some promise. So that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And I would continue to do it. You know, force the defense to maybe send a double team. Now you've got other options to work with offensively. Here's Thornton following the score by Phoenix. It's tipped. Ah. Duncan kicks to Thornton. That's good. And Boom. Duncan with the assist. Yes. Thornton's got himself going with the triple, his first All basket right. of the game. Nice. And for Drummond, a different upbringing than a lot of blue chippers. His mother's focus was squarely on academics and his character, not on a future in the Come NBA. on, Greg. Bro. At one time, he was supposed to attend a basketball camp. Posted by the Marquise, but his mother held him out because he'd forgotten to do his laundry. And the Suns with a completely new group on the floor. Big group substitution here for Denver. Anderson, he's checked in for Wright. Beasley comes in for Duncan. Kid Gilchrist is Gilchrist. checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And Mike Miller subbed in for Isaiah Thomas. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Thornton. Back to Kid Gilchrist. Ah! Get the rebound. Anderson. Anderson! And the layup's good off the glass. And yeah. it's all knotted up. You got to put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the boards. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. When you look at Drummond Clark, do you think his upbringing is uh, Robert? I do, Kevin. I mean, we're all products of how we've been raised. In some ways, I think it threw off talent evaluators because Mom. we lack that no. obvious overt uh. ego and confidence. But Get that. A lot yes. Of hunger to be good, and we're seeing that work. Kid Gilchrist got the ball. Here now we go. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Screaming in 13. A nice pick right there to get him right to the rack. That's basketball 101. Boom. Guys. I mean, element. Look at this. Kid Gilchrist. Boom. Yourself, and then Slam take that. it straight Frick to the rack. Yeah, very yes. nice set play for him. Well, that's using your head and using your body. No. No. Oh, shots. Good. Varnani's got his first points of the night. Boy, such. Outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Right. Yeah. That, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assists. Now here's Beasley. Wyatt so far offensively, searching Don't for his first Chris. points of the game. Ah, uh, get out of my way, sir. Move. Kid Move Gilchrist again singly. Puts up the baby hook. Oh, here's yeah. Anderson. Anderson. And that's yes. a nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> no! Yeah, it's a strategy that has served uh, them well in this opening half part. Dang. start to this game. The offense is both dominating. Tell you what, feels like a game on the playground. Forget about defense, just keep firing. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Miller with the ball. Miller, right side. Shoots from 14. Uses the ball to drop it in. He's definitely got there that shot go. in his arsenal. Eight seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Daniels. Again. Daniels! Oh. Dang it. Oh.
tune in Monday. Now it's, I've definitely been able to score better in this camera mode. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. And from what we've seen, guys, from the Suns, uh, what are you thinking so far? And they've done a nice job here offensively to establish a rhythm and a pace to this game. And I like that they're finding ways to score. Playing well here, Steve. Nice. They've got Kyle Go, Singer. go, go, go. Bradley Beal is out there with Levine. Then it's Greg Monroe. No, King Gil Chris. And at the center missed. position. He missed the dunks. Michael Kidd, Gilchrist missing six weeks last season with a broken hand, and frankly, he took a step back overall. His numbers getting worse almost across the board. Oh my gosh, get that. Right yes. Sending it back. And it's Kidd, Gilchrist penetrating. That's good. Nice. Thomas got the lead up to two now for the Nuggets. Well, I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. And a player taken second overall two years ago. A lot of pressure hiding on the shoulders of MKG. You know, sometimes guys fall into draft positions that nice. don't necessarily go, go, go. their skill level, but you can never question the work ethic of this young man. Yeah. You know he's going to maximize well, whatever he can be as a yeah. pro because of that. For Phoenix, they've gone over right. 3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. Bargnani a screen on Thomas. Deal with it. Picked up by Kid Gilchrist. Ah. No. Wide open. Deal ah. against Kid Look. Gilchrist. Stop him. From no. Out. And that ah. one's good. Right in. Come on. Let's keep going here. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second up, quarter. Bro? Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, Kevin, the Suns are the talk of the Valley, but that's not all that's going on in Phoenix. USA Basketball is building a huge new $350 million oh, training sucks. facility here. The over 10-acre site is scheduled to open in the uh, fall of 2015. got it. And no, he missed the again. Hoping Another those three. superstar players warm up to Phoenix in their time here. Yeah, that couldn't hurt in free agency. Thanks, Doris. Now, here is Monroe. Michael Kidd, Gil Gustav, oh, oh, they're going to get the lead. They love the concentration. God, Gets hit, but he stays with the play. Yeah, he showed a lot right there. Oh, Plenty of concentration finding a way to get that shot to fall. Phoenix making some changes. Andre Drummond's check in for Bargnani. Green comes in for Greg Monroe. And it's Mills in for Levine. Phoenix was one of several teams in the West that were a surprise to many, and they were able to sneak up on a lot of their conference counterparts early in the season. Now here's Leonard, right now averaging 15 points a game. Three on the clock. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Rebound My, uh. by the Suns. Drummond's got three rebounds now in this one. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. You know, regardless of who starts the break, it seems like he's usually the one to finish it. And that's because of how well he attacks the rim on the dead run. One thing with the Suns, Clark, that helped them to a 28-24 Western Conference record is that they knew how to go on mini runs to close nice. out quarters. You know, they were very good last year towards the end of a quarter. And as you said, Kevin, that kind of play helped them sneak up on a lot of teams out west. They were clearly Stop. the surprise Stop. team yeah. in the NBA, I think. And here's Mills. Kawhi Leonard getting his three to go. Beal no. gets a wide open look. Uh. And it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense. Outside Leonard. Poked away. No. It's stolen by Green. Man. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four Five. minutes played. Really left Green. alone that time. And that's now 11 points here for Beal. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Thomas goes in, feeds to right. Good, and the assist nice. goes to Thomas. Nice. Wright's got his second bucket of the night. He used his strength there to get into the post without much of a fight from the defense. Yeah, I think they've got to muscle up on him a little more. Do a better job next time in there. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Well, there's got to be something about Washington producing these 5'9 guards. I mean, whether you're talking Nate Robinson or Isaiah Thomas, they both can fill it up in a hurry. And, you know, they both play the game with the confidence nice. and swagger go, go, go. of a power forward. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. 
Mozgov comes in for Singler, and Daniels subbed in for Beal. There's a freak shot there. Phoenix leading by three. Daniels dishes to Drummond. Daniels passes to Mills. Drummond the screen. Here's Mills. He's guarded by Thomas. Just five to shoot. Daniels kicks to Drummond. And he makes the Come eight footer. Man. Drummond's got the lead up to five now for Phoenix. Well, Isaiah Thomas, not the dunker that Nate Robinson is, but he's a really good finisher around the rim despite his small stature. Able to make mid-air adjustments and has that great touch using creative angles to evade shot. Ah, Tries Anderson. again. Anderson can get it man, to go. What the freak? And it's Phoenix's ball. They're on a 14-5 run here. Green dishes to Drummond to the inside. No! And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And Isaiah Thomas a natural score, but also a willing pass. He's trying to find that balance, Clark, between the two. Kevin, there is always a place for anybody that can put the ball in the bucket with regularity. He can improve as a passer, sure. But uh, his game is scoring the ball, and off of his scoring ability, he's able to set up other people. They you serious? What the freak was that? You know, with the time you freaking up, missed that? Two for one here. If oh my hurry, god, that was horrible. Daniels has got five. Oh, minutes. my guys is starting to miss it now. And they have been dominant in that category. It's the ball movement, the player movement, the great rhythm to their offense. Clearly seems to me a different mindset between these teams. Oh, oh here's Beasley. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. So for the Suns, Craig Monroe. He's checked in for Andre Drummond. And Levine subbed in for Patty Mills. Here's Duncan. That's good. Zach Levine. Tim Duncan. The Suns have gone 7 for 10 here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. Levine passes to Monroe. Here's Levine. The drive by Green. So we've reached the Bradley, it's certainly Man. Still having a bit of trouble here. Yeah, they made about every freaking shot. The start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. What a performance from Bill here. He has 11 points, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. Now, a lot of times, he's one of those players who can get hot and stay hot from the three-point line. So I look for him to continue to search for shots out there. Taking a look at the Nuggets. Duncan is out there with Brandon Wright. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. That's Thornton. And it's Thomas in the point guard. Well, Denver in the post mellow years has been a collection of good players, but you always have to wonder uh, for the ceiling because this team does not have a so-called superstar. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, Kevin. Well, as you know, Isaiah Thomas has had to work his whole life. He's been overlooked at nearly every level, but just uses it to fuel his play. As Thomas said, I just play my heart out. That's how I've known how to play since day one. I've always been the smallest guy on the court every time I've been on it. It's no different. I just like to play hard. Guys, back to you. Not the biggest guy, but nice. boy, he is quick, Doris. I think that's one of his advantages. Tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. But that deficit will go away quickly if he does. And I like the Dang way he kept that drive off, you guys, with the one hand. Punch. Can't stop him. He put that lead pass in perfect position for his teammate. Outside Leonard. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's his first trip to the line. Well, he's right there at about 71% from the line this season. Uh, probably somewhere below where he'd like to be. And guys, this has not been a season to remember for him at the free throw line. Certainly to this point. You know, before this recent streak, the last time the Suns went more than a season without making the playoffs was way back in 1988. Just how long it's been for them not to I be in the love playoffs. Love my team more than better D. Wow, impressive. Now here is Monroe, averaging 14 points a game. 
They grab their own miss. Better rebound. It's blocked by Duncan. There you go. Go, go, go. Now, here's Thornton. Defense right on. No! Oh, my Denver. God. No good. This streak of the Suns missing the playoffs, uh, of course, starting back in 2010. But 1988, a good deal Ray, of the Suns last year. Timeout is called first of the game for the Nuggets. Clark, you look at last season with the Suns. They almost put an end to that streak last year, but ended one game shy of the playoffs in back of Dallas for number eight in the West. Right in the mix until the final week, Kevin. They won't have the luxury of being slept on this year, though, as the league is fully aware of how capable that group is. Singler, he's checked in for Draymond Green. Five to shoot. Leonard bounces high yeah, off the one. rim and drops. Leonard's got Seven five points, points now this um, quarter. Well, you know, he has shot the ball well, but it has not been contagious. And his teammates, they haven't had the same groove, and that's why we're looking at this result so far. Here's Mills. Five points in the game. Come on, rebound. Beal can't get it to go. Outside Leonard. The dish to right. All sorts of time. That's good. Okay. Now just a five-point Phoenix lead. It was almost like he was surprised to be that wide open, yet he knocked it down. Right around three minutes into the second half. Here's Monroe. On rebound. Tim Duncan yes. grabs the miss. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. And poor shot the selection freak? there. Not a high percentage look for him. Well, you saw it a little at the back of his rookie year, and he continued it last season. Brad Beal, he's going to be a dynamic scoring guard in this league. Here's Mills, averaging 12 points a game. Beal gets a wide-open look. Phoenix, no good that time nice. either. Right, you know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. And Bradley Beal listed at 6'5 in his shoes, but he plays big. Yeah, he's from a yes. football family. He'll throw his weight around to get a rebound. He still needs to work on getting to the basket. <laughs> I think this guy has a tremendous future. Phoenix making some changes. Mozgov, he's checked in for Drummond. Marniani comes in for Monroe. And Levine subbed in for Patty Mill. Kyle O'Quinn, he's checked in for the Nuggets. No. Jim Gilchrist comes hey. in for Marcus North. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Clark. I mean, they're getting after it, and I think they're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. And it's nice. good. Isaiah Thomas. 158 left to play in the third. Here's Levine looking for his first basket still in this one. And Singler kicks to Levine. Good on the throw. Oh. I mean, what are you going to do defensively? You can just rise up and bang down a three ball like that. And they get such separation with the height advantage. Now, here's Thomas. Averaging 14 points a game. Leonard dishes to Thomas. Back to Leonard. Jacks up a three. Good, and the assist nice. goes to Thomas. Thomas got his third assist on the night. Well, his scoring this quarter has been off the charts, and the complexion of the game as a result uh, may change. Here's Levine, right now averaging five points a game. And Singler kicks to Levine. And here's Barney outside. Denver grabs nice. the miss. Go, go, go. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. You know, you shoot the ball as poorly as they did that night, you're not nice. going to win the game. Well, Steve, it's not They're just difficult to win a game with low shooting percentages like theirs. It's nearly impossible. Here's Levine. There An easy uh, one uh, after coming off the pit. Levine's got five. Right. The defense are pretty much helpless there stopping that layup. I, I think too much of a mismatch in terms of height. Outside Thomas, nobody near Kid Gilchrist. Oh, that Gilchrist. misses had a chance to tie it there. And now the Suns a fast break, and there's the whistle fouled home. Oh, the shot man. He'll go to the line. The Suns have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. The free throw drops for Barney. So for the Suns.
Draymond Green comes in for Singler, and Daniels subbed in for Levine. The Nuggets also changing it up. Anderson, he's checked in for Wright. Beasley comes in for Kyle O'Quinn, and Miller's subbed in for Leonard. Beal against Thomas. 18 feet out. No! Comes off the Man. full rim. Major defensive lapse right there. Uh, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached that to him. That is such a lucky he couldn't thing. punish them for it. My guy can't make it, but his the king. now to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Today, Steve, it's a big man winning the honor. And it was a no-brainer. This assist was really out of this world. I mean, he had a great understanding of the situation and where the ball had to go. Andre Drummond is out there with Monroe. Oh, That's come Mills. on. You want to then there's there. Draymond Green and it's Daniels in a this shooting guard position. So that's the lineup on the floor My for the God, side. That was such a poor shot. Out of bounds to the Gilchrist. Nuggets as Denver retains possession. Might as well just stop passing it to Kid Gilchrist. He doesn't perform at all. Off the inbound pass. Yep, it goes in, and the Suns' lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Miller. Nothing too fancy, just simple execution. That's getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. I agree, Clark. They need stops, and they can't afford any wasted possessions. Those yes. inside shots are, are really high percentage looks. Here's Kid Gilchrist. My God! From close range. He's Every time I give it, get it to him. One for ten. Look at that. Give him those shots now. Drummond with a screen on Thornton, and Mills kicks to Drummond. Lock at six, and it's Denver with the rebound, and it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. Every time. What the Duncan freak is in for Michael Beasley? One for eleven? Are you serious? Fourth quarter still young, just over oh a minute play. God. And Mike Defense Miller gets the whistle foul. that time. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Drummond with a screen on Miller. Mills passes to Daniels. No good from outside. The Nuggets trail by five. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Nobody near Kid Gilchrist. Oh my Here's God. Here's Duncan, and he banks it away. Wish he went. Well, well, the only one that gets an Easy bucket he gets in open the lane. And he misses yeah, every the shot. The interior defense simply has been lifeless. Daniels kicks to Mills. Drummond with a screen on Miller. Mills dishes to Drummond. And here's Daniels. Shot clock at six. Shoots from 14. Come on. The rebound. Can't hit. Now yes. Denver takes Where it the other go. way. Anderson outside. He feeds it to Kid Gilchrist. Duncan inside. Defended by Drummond. Duncan down low. Working on Drummond. That's in, nice. and the Suns' lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Duncan. Well, if you like offense, you'll love this game. Yep, a high-scoring affair. Both squads saving their energy for the offensive end of the floor because they definitely aren't doing anything defensive. Mills with it, covered by Miller. And Monroe kicks to Green. Dang it. Back to Monroe. And he drops ah. it in from the low post. And the Suns lead by three. You know, tired legs can affect you at the defensive end. And I think that's what's happening right here. I agree, because as much offense as we saw early, we're seeing even more of it here late. So for the Suns, Kyle Singler, he's checked in for Draymond Green. And Beal subbed in for Daniels. And then for Denver. Brandon Wright's checked in for Anderson. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Michael Kidd Gilchrist. And Thomas subbed in for Mike Miller. A moment to check in with Dang Cole it! Sports. Every time! They always make it! 
He loved the work they were doing on the interior, saying, listen, they've got no answer for us inside, and we're not going to let them off the hook now. Keep pounding it down low. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Drummond with a screen on Thomas. Beal the pass to Mills. And there's the feed to Beal. Another one. Every time! Come on, man. The Nuggets trail by five. Thomas dishes to Lennon. Lots of room. And good. He nails it. Leonard's got 12 points here in the second half. I mean, that's just too weak on the coverage. Heading down the stretch, that sort of defensive lap can cost you the game. Phoenix calls timeout. They're up by three. 158 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Mills. And Singler kicks Come to the roll. Stop him. Come on. Back to Singler. And Mills atop the key. To Beal. Can he keep it going? Beal can't get that one to fall. Nuggets have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Thomas goes in, kicks it out to Leonard. Beal oh. Beal's got his third rebound. No. Singler outside for the three. No. That's good. They stepped up the three point shooting game in the second uh. half. Abandoned. Now they're feeling confident, and they're in a good flow offensively, so why not just keep firing from out there? And here's Leonard, following Kyle Singler's three. Dishes to Thornton. Thomas, it's a wide open What? No! Three-pointer offline. Come on, man. success shooting the ball, but it's not too late for him to get it turned around and start contributing. Monroe against Duncan. And that one's good. Why? Eight point Suns lead. Every time. Come on. It goes the in. Oh my God. Thomas passes through Leonard. Yes. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just wow. five. Those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball games, Steve. Here's Beal. This may be their most important possession. Now, as long as they don't make a mistake here, they should be safe. Raymond Green has checked in for Phoenix. Beal dishes to Mills. Yeah, come on. Freaking heck! Come on! Pass to Monroe. Outside for Beal. And an intentional foul right there. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good, and it's a seven-point game. Boy, he looked confident, didn't he? Stepping to the foul line and knocking down a couple. Thomas kicks to Leonard. Money! And now they trail by just four. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. This shooting has been off the chart. Come on. Phoenix has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Smart foul there. You got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're losing by six. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? I think they have to go for a three right now, don't you, Clark? Yeah, I don't think oh. they have any choice but to go for the three, Steve. Yes. There's 14 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And now they foul and stop the clock. So the first one drops, and that puts them up Of course, he makes every one of them. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. Fires the three. Count it. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Another baby bottom smooth stroke there. I mean, that's perfect form he's showing at the three-point line. That's a the freaking rally as deal. As they can with the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. 
Al Thornton. Outside Thomas. For three. Cans the three. And another three-pointer to their second half total. Yeah, they caught that long-range bug at halftime, and it's been bombs away ever since. <laughs> what the f So it's the Suns taking the W in right. a close one. It was tight, but they managed to come up with the win. Uh, Nobody wants to Kevin. lose a close game, Kevin. It's much better to win those tight ones. And now we send you down to Doris Burke, courtside, who's... Well, Bradley, in a game that's... They literally made almost every shot they freaking attempted. Such nonsense. Look at this. Almost every shot they shot made it. Look at this. Say it, Thomas missed a bunch. There's, that's, <laughs> that's where all my misses came from, Kid Gilchrist. Yep. You know what? Kid Gilchrist has not been performing for my team at all, man. He misses almost every freaking shot for my team. I don't know. I might reduce his minutes because his, he is absolutely being detrimental to my team.